Today we have the Taurus 92 full-sized Beretta clone. This was the basically cheaper manufactured Beretta M9, which is mass produced to the general public. The Taurus 92 comes standard with ambidextrous safety as well as decocking lever. Comes with a exposed hammer fired system, adjustable front sights, adjustable rear sights. Underneath, as you can see, this particular model does not come with a Picatinny rail. However, there are add-ons you can secure to the trigger guard here that allow you to use your rail to the fullest extent. Some competition models actually have mountable sights that you can place on there for a more common red dot or a high pixelated sight. As you can see, firearm is unloaded as you obviously don't want to demonstrate any particular firearm loaded, especially in a closed setting. I'd like to remind everyone to always be aware of your surroundings when handling a firearm both loaded and unloaded and always treat it as if it were. Moving on, the Taurus 92 does make it incredibly easy to clear jams. As you can see, we have a release down on the bottom here. You press that in. Once the slide is back, you flip the lever forward and down. That will release the locking mechanism. Drop it back into place. Ah, hammer has to be decocked in order for it to release. So keeping that in mind, like I said, if you do run into a jam, you can go ahead and pull out the spring and rod the whole barrel assembly does come out along with this guy here locking it back into place is rather easy make sure your pin there is secured back drop this little guy into the grooves there we go once that's secure you go ahead and drop that back in you'll hear it kind of click into place once you got it in there slide won't move anymore piston there drop it back in once that's in you can lock your slide back flipping your lever up send it home give it a few slides and go ahead and send her home it does come standard with an 11 round single stack magazine easy to load in very nicely done Although Taurus has been notorious for manufacturer issues such as misfires and overall poor quality, I truly believe that uh, Taurus isn't one of the worst firearm manufacturers out there and truthfully this little piece here has never failed me. Um, moving right along, we'll set this guy off to the side as you can see still unloaded. a few taps.